Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a nice little trick in Final Cut Express. Okay, let me go ahead and play the introductory video and watch the little mirror space right here for the effect. Um, try to notice the transition between the real video and the superimposed video. I'm going to mute my mic and play this video, and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to um, do a, a nice little effect here with um, Final Cut Express. As you see, we have just a regular um, bathroom shaving mirror. It's the largest one I could find. I apologize for that. And um, what we're going to be, to be doing is shooting two videos. The first one you're seeing right now that I'm shooting. A second one will be shot um, about right now. And you'll see that I'm mocking myself, trying to figure out how to get out of the box and stuff like that. Um, this is actually a very um, easy effect to create in Final Cut Express, but the big thing is the composition, um, like the placement of the mirror and the edit that you do. As you can see, I can place my hands pretty much all around the mirror or whatever um, as it goes right there. But to give you a, a really good example of how this is working, <clears throat> just to show you the magic behind the effect, you take a piece of paper and put it in front of the mirror. Oh, so you can see that I'm still there. And that's because it's it's actually on a video overlay. And uh, let me flip over here real quick, and I'll show you guys how to create this uh, simple little effect. Okay, so as you can see in the effects video, um, in, in order to achieve this, the first video clip that I shot is this track right here. At the end of this track, I came across and shot another video that I superimposed on top of this. Now, if I come down here, you'll see the outlay for the track right here. Um, and then you can do, you can resize this basically if you grab it. Uh, Make sure you click down here on your crop marker. Um, you can change the aspect, you know, the actual space of the video. Okay, on your second clip where you're doing whatever your overlay is, mocking whatever in this case, um, you want to come down and you'll have to time this just right in the mirror. Um, as you can see, my head is turned sideways right now. If I come up to this clip, I made sure that when I shot my second video that my head was in as near the same position as possible okay now on your second clip once you get this in time correct you can select this video now this segment right here started out as a full screen okay so if you come in and drag this out you can see the difference in the two video clips okay so you will select this by grabbing the very edges, okay? It'll start off over here on the edge of the screen, so you'll just drag up to uh, resize it that way, and then size it down as close as you can to the actual image. Very simple. So once I had all my primary video, I, I was missing a little clip here at the end, so I did an edit with the cross dissolve. So let me just jump forward frame by frame here. Now my head is turned sideways here, and I wanted to try to match this up as best I could. The only way I could do that in this instance, because I didn't shoot the video properly, like I said, it's all about composition, but since I didn't get it quite right, I added a second clip and did a little cross dissolve, which you'll see takes place right there. And now I'm moving out of the frame of the video so it looks like it's back to normal. So when you actually play this clip, You'll see. <clears throat> Real quick, the and final. I'll show you guys how to create this uh, simple little effect. So you see that there is a little blur there. You just you have to work on your composition, but on the intro, it's not so oh, bad. I'm shooting a second one. Will be shot. See a little um, about right now. You see a little clip there. So anyway, it's all about sizing up your secondary um, video. This is the first one, as you can see. And then when you do your overlay on the top of this one, you want to size the image down to whatever aspect it is that you're working with. You can actually do a half screen and have multiple views walking into a room or something like that. So anyway, um, that's it for this moment. If this video helped you out, then leave a comment. If not, then poke my home and move my mouse out of the way there. As usual, peace. Thanks.